hello everyone welcome to how to fix tech in this video guys if your windows is running slow after the update windows 10 or 11 so this video is for you i will show you step by step how to troubleshoot this issue and fix this issue easily so first of all guys we need to make sure that we can clear the windows update cache so you can press window plus r button together or you can open the run command from the search bar simply type there run and simply open it so once you press window plus r button together you need to type here clean mgr mgr and hit ok now once you hit ok you will see here it will scan your c drive basically since in window is installed in the c drive as you can see here the sign also you can identify with the file explorer like this way So as you can see here windows sign is in my C drive. If you are in another drive check for that. Choose your the D drive or other drive. In here guys look for this option clean up system files. Do not tick all the options here. I have seen video suggesting to tick all the options here in the YouTube. But you can also try this option clean up system files. This will delete the previous installation file as well again click on ok ok now this time it will take some time since it is going to scan the previous windows file so wait for some time here ok once this is done tick all the boxes here like if it is unticked just tick the options all of them ok and then hit ok now click on delete so once you delete it will take some time and automatically will be minimized so wait for a process so once it is running we can move on to the second step in the second method guys we can disable the startup apps so this is the basic setting you should do everyone should do this so in order to open the startup setting ok just click on right click on the task bar setting then open the task manager ok once you open the task manager guys we need to look for startup apps ok once you click on startup apps as you can see here I have lot of programs here but I have already disabled them only the security one this is the windows defender leave it as default here it scans the windows your whole system with the viruses so only leave this option and rest of them you can disable them like if it is enabled like this so it will try to launch automatically so disable them ok and also you can delete the unwanted software which you don't use in the third step go to add and remove program since the install program takes memory as well as your hard drive size as well as the windows resources so look for the program guys in here which you don't use which you don't use here simply ok and click on uninstall simply uninstall the program which you don't use no need to keep it in your system ok so this is the third step to troubleshoot the issue so now move on to the fourth step ok in the fourth step guys we can clean up the windows cache inside the our system ok so simply open the file explorer 
this PC Windows drive open the C drive and in here look for Windows this folder then look for software distribution press S on your keyboard this software distribution okay these are the windows cache you just select all of them and shift plus delete, delete button to permanently deleted all the items basically the, this is the cache inside our windows which is made by the windows update so delete them it may ask you the permission for some of them you are not able to delete them but just try to delete so take this portion okay as you can see here all the items are deleted successfully so this is the cache which is made by windows updates these are the update file it will be created automatically again once you again check for update and if nothing is working guys you can uninstall the faulty updates so how to uninstall them click on start menu then click on settings this is the fifth step to troubleshoot this issue we can uninstall the recent update okay once you click on that look for windows update here and look for this option update history okay scroll down and look for uninstall option you can see here uninstall and you can see here the latest update I am seeing here so you can simply can cl click on uninstall uninstall latest update here and once uninstall is done just restart the system guys and it should fix any kind of issues is you have in your windows so hope this video helps you guys if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching and you can also join the membership so thank you